Yet mom is hardly in the story. No. This is a story about how you're totally in love with Aunt Robin. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the times our favorite characters bore the brunt of some unpopular writing decisions. It goes without saying that plot points will be discussed, so this is your spoiler warning. He was cheating, and you were cheating with him. There's no other way to spin that. Number 10. Penny gives up on her dreams. The Big Bang Theory. When we first get to know Penny, she's this vibrant, quick-witted, and determined character with a lot of sass and sparkle. Oh my god, a treasure chest. I'm rich! Level 3 and she thinks she's rich. <laughs> Yet, as the series progresses, her once fierce independence takes a back seat to her relationship with Leonard. Still, her pregnancy reveal in the season finale felt like the final straw for many viewers. Not long before, Penny shared that motherhood wasn't really in her life plan. What if, what if we didn't have kids? Ever? I mean, our life is so great. Why would we want to change that? Many fans welcomed hearing what's still often considered an unpopular opinion on such a popular series, so we can understand why they may have felt that this total 180 was yet another disservice to the character. Someone's gonna figure it out. Why don't we just tell people? No, it's too early. I haven't even wrapped my head around it. I have. My head is wrapped. Yeah, well, <laughs> something else had been wrapped, we wouldn't be in this situation. <laughs> What would earlier seasons Penny think if she could peek into her future? Number 9. Saeed Gets Infected Lost If we were stranded on some remote island, we'd probably want someone like Saeed around. Well, most of the time. There are tracks all over the dock. They're fresh. As recent as yesterday. You said this dock was abandoned. That would be part of the lying you mentioned. For one thing, he's skilled and resourceful, and thanks to his backstory, he has great survival skills. Throughout the series, he grapples with his past, while his journey of personal growth, redemption, and sacrifice is one of the most enticing to watch. Jack asked me how I knew. Knew for sure that this man was lying. How I knew for sure that he was one of them, one of the others. I know, because I feel no guilt for what I did to him. So, in everything that's good about this series, what was the deal with infecting him with the mysterious sickness? As the man in black seemingly possesses Saeed, much of that personality and character growth we found so intriguing dissipated. The man that I met is leaving the island forever. Those of you who want to go with him should leave the temple and join him. You have until sundown to decide. Essentially, this character went out with more of a fizzle than a bang. Number 8. Carrie Cheats on Aiden, Sex and the City We're not sure what's bigger, Carrie's shoe collection or her track record of poor decision making. Oh, more than once. And he was married and it was a mess. And I don't know what I was thinking, I wasn't thinking, but it is so, so over and, I, and it was wrong. Nonetheless, we're among the many SATC fans who still haven't forgiven her for cheating on Aiden. The pair first met in Season 3 at a furniture store, and Carrie instantly dives into this relationship on a bed of lies. You smoke? Oh, um, just a little. The minute I heard the lie come out of my mouth, I realized just how much I kind of liked him. Still, none as bad as when she reignites things with Big while dating Aiden, who was a total sweetheart. I can smell the guy on your sheets. Wood chips and Paco Rabanne. Does she feel guilty? Yes. Does that stop her? No. Worse still, after she finally comes clean, she makes herself out as the victim. Her actions raise so many red flags that we'll never understand why he ever gave her another chance. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me, Aiden. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me! Number 7. Does anyone ever learn shameless? One thing that makes a character or characters interesting is how they grow and develop from their initial flaws. Indeed, that's what made Shameless such a compelling series earlier on. However, further into its run, it felt like the writers were just recycling old ideas or struggling to come up with new ones. Anyway, it, um, it made me think of you. Random destruction makes you think of me? Yeah, it was, uh, it was beautiful. 
There are only so many times we can see the same characters make the same stupid mistakes before the deja vu gets tiresome. Lip and Fiona are especially guilty of never seeming to learn their lesson. It was an accident. I had no idea that my brother was still there. Fiona. Fiona, right? That's a conversation for later. Right now, we have to get you in front of the judge. Debbie's story arcs also often make us want to facepalm. The writers would have been better off ending the series before they'd clearly run out of steam. Candy when you do good on your promise. Fair enough. What'll it cost me to have Bella on her worst behavior? The closer to criminal, the better. Number six, Rachel and Ross get back together. Friends. Regardless of your stance on the whole we were on a break debate, while Ross's decision to rebound quickly may be questionable, his choice to hide it from Rachel is unforgivable. I used to think of you as somebody that would never, ever hurt me. Ever. God, and now I just can't stop picturing you with her. Fast forward to the final season, Rachel lands a dream job in Paris, one of the world's fashion capitals. It feels like the perfect bookend to her journey, especially when we think about where she started. However, who should once again get in her way? Don't go. What? Please, please stay with me. I am so in love with you. Please don't go. Okay, yes, we all cheered for her when she got off the plane, but was that really the right decision for her? She would have probably thrived in Paris. Instead, she throws it all away for a guy who has repeatedly tried to hinder her success. I do love you. Oh, I love you too, and I am never letting you go again. Okay, because this is where I want to be. Okay, no more messing around. I don't want to mess this up again. Number five, Ted goes back to Robin, How I Met Your Mother. Few sitcoms have stirred up as much debate about their finale as this one. When you tune into a series called How I Met Your Mother, you think you know what you're getting into. Kids, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. The story of How I Met Your Mother. Are we being punished for something? No. Yeah, is this gonna take a while? Yes. But over nine seasons, it turned into a story where the mother almost feels like a side note in a different romance. You made to sit down and listen to the story about how you met mom, yet mom is hardly in the story. No. This is a story about how you're totally in love with Aunt Robin. And you're thinking about asking her out and you want to know if we're okay with it. Meanwhile, Robin's journey, from cheating on Kevin to marrying Barney, only to soon divorce him, completely changes her character too. Guys, it's okay. This isn't a failed marriage. It's a very successful marriage that happened to only last three years. You both want this? For real? We do. For real. Yet both she and Ted go through significant personal growth from start to finish. Sure, the blue French horn gesture was sweet the first time. This time, however, it symbolizes the unraveling of all their development throughout the series. Number 4. Eric Leaves Donna, That 70s Show Eric had been crushing on the girl next door since forever, but let's be real, he hasn't always been the best boyfriend. Like jilting Donna shortly before their wedding day? Kitty, Eric is over two hours late. Let's go home. He's not late, Mr. Foreman. He didn't show up because he, he doesn't want to marry me. Yet miraculously, their relationship survives. That is until Eric's existential crisis leads him on a year-long volunteer trip to Africa. Me leaving, it's like it's real. Yeah, but you're gonna be back before you know it, and then we're gonna have our whole lives to spend together. Needless to say, season eight suffered in his absence, and honestly, we'd rather just pretend it never happened. To top it all off, we find out Eric decided to end things with Donna due to the challenges of long distance. Will you just drop it? No, not until you tell us when Eric's coming home. What? He's not coming home. Eric broke up with me. They eventually work things out, but it's hard to forget the mess Eric left behind or forgive the writers for putting us through it. Number 3. Toby Loses His Moral Compass The West Wing Toby Ziegler quickly becomes a favorite among fans for his clever, no-nonsense attitude. He was seen as one of the smartest and most principled characters. So we were shocked when, in season 7, he revealed that he was responsible for exposing classified military information. It's already on the website. It'll be on the front page of tomorrow's New York Times. 
To do this, Brock would have had to assure them that he had a cold, which means whoever leaked it, it's somebody big. It was a jarring departure from the character we knew, leaving us questioning if we were still watching the same show. The investigation into the leak is focused on CJ. They've got it wrong. Apparently, they don't see it that way. Maybe the writers thought this unexpected plot twist would keep viewers hooked until the end. Unfortunately for many of us, it just tarnished the show's legacy. Even actor Richard Schiff felt his character had been wronged and convinced himself that Toby must have decided to take the fall to protect an ally. I got a lawyer. I did it. Number two, Rory makes some poor choices. Gilmore Girls. Rory Gilmore started off as this kind of friend we all admire. Smart, driven, and relatable. I'm not sure I want to go to Chilton. What? The timing is just really bad. The timing is bad? She was the one we could count on to navigate life's challenges with us. But as the show went on, some fans felt like they were watching a different Rory. No, and no, Rory, uh-uh. You can't be one of those girls who, who blames the wife for forcing the husband to cheat. He wasn't cheating. He was cheating, Rory. He was cheating. And you were cheating with him. Her actions, such as dropping out of Yale, engaging a tumultuous affair with a married man, and displaying a lack of direction in her career, were inconsistent with the Rory we first met and actually really liked. The Rory we once adored seemed to lose her way and became more insufferable, leaving us wondering what happened to the girl we all wanted as our best friend. So what's the great master plan then, huh? You're gonna move back home, live in your room, work part-time at the bookstore? Forget it, not an option. I'll figure it out. I'm not hungry. Look, I'm not going back. I just wanted you to know. Message sent. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Dan is Gossip Girl, Gossip Girl. Spotted, a last minute reveal that felt more forced than well planned, XOXO. But that gave me the idea. If I wasn't born into this world, maybe I could write myself into it. Spike assaults Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There's literally no redemption for that. Ask me again why I could never love you. Buffy, oh my god, I didn't- Because I stopped you. Prince Charles becomes unsympathetic and treacherous. The Crown. Dominic West's reign was marred by some ridiculous flights of fancy in the storyline department. It was said that Queen Victoria had no confidence in him, thought him dangerous, free thinking. He longed to be given responsibilities, but his mother refused. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jamie Lannister's Unraveling Character Development – Game of Thrones Some of the decisions leading to the Game of Thrones finale were head-scratchers. Who could have predicted Daenerys' sudden rampage? What about the disappointment of Jaime Lannister's character arc? His transformation from despised villain to beloved anti-hero was one of the show's most captivating journeys. You gave your word. Keep it and consider the debt paid. I will return the star ghost to the mother. That's why it hit fans like a ton of bricks when in the penultimate episode, Jamie's character development suddenly hit reverse. After all that growth, he goes crawling back to Cersei, sealing his fate alongside hers. It felt like a betrayal, not just of Jamie, but of the audience's investment in his redemption. It seemed rushed and ignored past lore. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Only us. For dedicated fans, this was a bitter pill to swallow. Which TV character's storyline do you wish you could rewrite? Let us know in the comments. Before long, it was a monster. Everyone was sending tips. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. 
and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.